Hey guys, welcome to the Asteroid Hunter channel. Glad you could come aboard. We're going to do a uh, unboxing video of LX85 mount that we got from telescopes.net. Big shout out to our friends there at Woodland Hills Camera and Telescope. Got my son at the helm today. He's going to help do some switching between the cameras. I'm going to get set up over here and uh, we'll do an unboxing. I'll pull some of the products out. We'll move it over to our bench. I'll unbox some stuff out of the bench. Then we'll set the mount up uh, over here on the other side of the room. So. Uh, Thanks for guys hanging out and we'll do this quick unboxing. So here's the box for the LX85. We're going to open this thing up and then uh, basically I'll pull some of the parts out and we'll go uh, um, through them on our other camera and uh, let's just start going through this. All right. So it looks like we uh, have all the manuals here. Comes with. So funny, these manufacturers are still shipping everything with CDs. They need to uh, they need to put USB drives in here. So I'm assuming any drivers you're gonna, guys are gonna have to get, you just want to download off the internet. So this is all the uh, Audio Star information. The mount this this unit usually comes with their uh, eight inch SCT, uh, but we're gonna be putting our Celestron uh, uh, Edge on here and running that. So. So nothing fancy here in the boxes. It looks like this one may be empty. This one's even empty. <laughs> so I'll just set this one aside. So what we'll do is I'm going to actually pull these boxes over to uh, uh, to our bench over here. These three. And we'll take a look. I'm assuming this is obviously the tripod. Let's take a look at that real quick. Yeah, there's the tripod itself. So we'll get that in a, out in a minute, but let's go through these boxes here over at our other bench. So let me carry this stuff over real quick. So let's take a look at this stuff that's in here. Comes with a little compass, it looks like. For you there. This is our audio controller. This must be just the hand controller that comes in the box. Um, I'm not familiar with AudioStar, but uh, but have used Mead stuff way back in the past. I've always been a big fan of theirs. So I understand that AudioStar stuff works really well. Um, I know guys that uh, really like this system, so uh, we're looking forward to trying that thing out for sure. But let me check here. So again. I'll have to take a look at the mount. No USBs of any kind. Just comes with these static data connectors that go on here. 
um, for these units. So we'll we'll have to see what that what that uh, is going to entail as far as getting the PC controller. Um, as you know, none of this stuff is universal, which is unfortunate. <laughs> I wish a lot of these companies would do some of that some of that stuff. Let me get my knife here. Counterweights, whole box with just one counterweight. I believe they do that so that the thing won't roll around on you. I guess that seems to be a problem in the field for people, so they have to make these counterweights actually square so they don't roll around, which is uh, kind of an interesting thing. But uh, but hey, you know, that's a, that's a good deal, I guess. So Okay, so the counterweight's there. We have that, so let's pull this open. This is probably the head unit itself. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Lots of good packaging in here, guys, that's for sure. Pretty nice. Okay. So there's the head unit itself. There's a couple of pieces that are in here um, as well come into this. So let me set this stuff aside. There it is, the 85. You guys can see. So it looks like we have the hand controller, auxiliary uh, port adapter, something for guide scope as well, if you guys want to run something like that. Uh, I'm not sure about the deck uh, configuration here, so we'll have to look at that. There's the power adapter on there. Um, probably Mead has some special focusers on here as well but there's the head it's not real heavy pretty light light unit as well configuration for the digital setting circles on there so we'll have to see uh, looks like it came with okay so we have azimuth hopefully elevation screws as well have to see what, uh, how those go in there. These probably going on each side. I'll have to take a look at the old manual. Brandon, can you grab the manual for me one more time so I can see? And then here's the counterweight rod that uh, was in the box as well. So stuff's packed real nice. I like the foam that they use. Uh, good quality in there. Looks like the paint's been done pretty well on the head. Nice and clean. Clutches feel nice and smooth. This one's a little bit tight. So unfortunately, this thing comes with a uh, Vixen style plate, not a Los Mondi. I don't believe you can flip this over. Uh, unfortunately, that was always a cool thing about some of the other manufacturers. You can actually flip the plate over, but. We have a Los Monty style on our Edge HD, so I have to change the uh, rail on that thing to be able to get our scope to fit into there. Um, so this does come with a Vixen style, just so you guys know, the dovetail saddle. So it uh, has a polar axis scope built on it, which is nice um, right here. And I'm just going to open this thing up if I can. So probably, yeah, you can turn that thing and you can see, you guys see right down the middle of that. So if you change the dovetail saddle there, you can actually polar line your scope. So that's, that's kind of a neat feature that a lot of uh, mounts don't have, but it does have its own actual polar alignment. Um, I wouldn't consider that a scope, but uh, it looks like you can thread something in there. Probably thread an actual uh, scope that goes in there as well. So I'm um, just going to look at this. 
how this is kind of set up. I just wanted to see. I'll have to see how it, uh, when I get, get it going, see how it connects. There's no direct, quick uh, picture directions on the actual threading of the latitude longitude screws. That's interesting. It shows an overview, but it doesn't show how these things probably go in. It's probably the short guys are the ones obviously going to go into these these thread heads here. Like that on either side. Okay. So that's the head unit itself. Um, it's the right ascension. This is the housing motor. All the gears in there, power switch here. Um, there's going to be a mounting lock nut that comes up underneath this unit and tightens it in right there. So we'll have to look at that and what's on the box there uh, and see. And then probably, just want to see. So let's go over and take a look at the tripod and then what I'm going to do is put the head on this thing. Uh, and then we'll take a look at it on the tripod. So. Did you set up that other camera over there, Brandon? Let's pull the tripod out. Again, pretty well packed. This tripod unit is. Get bubble wrap all around this thing. There should be a, there's the plate over there. Looks like the legs are all extendable, as always. Extend these legs out, see that? I'm gonna just leave them down for now. So, um, this little center plate that goes on here, obviously got spots for eyepieces and, and all those kinds of things, so. And that's essentially gonna, gonna thread up in here. So it looks like there's actually a Thread screw comes over. Brandon, can you bring that head over here? Yeah. Well, let's take a look. There's a, there's a little notch on here. It tells you where you should position your leg for the, for north, uh, pointing this leg north. So that's kind of a nice situation. But there's uh, actually a pin that's already on here. So you can't put this thing on, hopefully the wrong way. <laughs> you kind of know what's going on here. So that pin will go right in between the all tab screws that go in here. So I'm gonna just tighten these, get these things down just a little bit so they won't move. But basically it looks like you just, this thing just wants to screw in there. It's got a nice little handle for you to grab, tighten the thing down, tighten the all tabs on here. So let me see the uh, the big long screws for the altitude adjuster, and then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna you bring those over. They're right there on the table. Are they? Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm just gonna put this plate in here for you guys to see. I remember being being kind of a younger guy and really loving the LX200 series and feeling like, hey, if you get a, if I ever had an LX200, man, like, like I would have made it, you know, that would be, that would be it for me, you know, like I, I really, I really made it in astronomy, you know, um, 
that class scope's been great. I know they're LX90 ACF, just really fantastic optically. And I know uh, Daniel down there at uh, Woodland Hills Cameron Telescope, just a phenomenal uh, astronomer and uh, just so knowledgeable in this stuff, just really likes that, that 90 ACF unit, so. Okay, so that's locking them on either side. So you can see that it's that it's moving. So that moves it down. And then if you loosen one side, you can tighten. That's moving the unit up, as you can see. So there's your altitude adjustment screws that are on there. So that's pretty straightforward on this. There's this cover this comes with. And I'm looking at the, and this wants to thread in. This basically threads in, this cover does. And you thread this down onto there. And then thread this in because this stops. Right there, and then thread this up and then on. And put the counterweight on there. So you guys can see this pretty good. LX85 from Mead. Great, you know, six, seven hundred dollar equatorial mount, man. I mean, I mean, you can't beat it for the money, guys. Uh, there's definitely some really nice mounts out there. LX85. You got the uh, uh, the one from Celestron AVX mount. Those those mounts just are really golden mounts, man, for the money. So I just want to show you the big thing is I just want to show you guys, hey, man, like you can. You can buy a six hundred dollar mount and really do some great work with it um, as well. So clutches are pretty smooth on it, actually. This uh, I don't know if you can see in here. This let's scoot this over. This. This clutch piece right here, when this is down, when you go to turn it, it, it rubs on this plastic. So, I mean, obviously, if you're tight on there, it's not going to matter. But just if you loosen that thing all the way up and you turn your scope, you're going to be hitting that. So that's just something I'm noticing right off the bat with this thing that you that, uh, just got to be uh, pay attention to. This, this cover basically is plastic that's on here, so which is a little bit unfortunate uh, in that regard. But... Uh, other than that, it's like I said, the clutches feel pretty, pretty smooth on it all the way through, you know. Uh, I mean, it's like I said, this thing is designed for their 8-inch SCT. We're going to put our edge on there uh, with Hyperstar camera system, and we'll see what she does. And uh, it's like I said, we're going to collect some data and, and, and do that. So, uh, but yeah, there it is, man. There's the LX85. And uh, if you guys have any questions, man, feel free to give us a shout, or uh, you can always visit telescopes.net, man. And again, uh, you put the promo code Asteroid Hunter. Do we have that at the bottom of the screen, Brandon? Top right. Top, top right. It says Asteroid Hunter. Put that promo code in, guys, in the shopping cart. of anything you're buying there at telescopes.net, you're going to get a discount on your orders, man. So uh, that's why you let them know that you've seen the channel that we've sent you over there. And uh, we're just grateful for our sponsorship with them and all the things they do for us. So uh, telescopes.net, you can call Daniel, Simon, those guys down there, just really knowledgeable guys. All right, I'm going to call it, but uh, there's an unboxing of the LX85 guys. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll definitely get the, get the uh, reviews up for it. And uh, I'll show you guys, I'll do some imaging and we'll get that stream going and show you guys all the stuff that's going on. So uh, appreciate you guys coming by. Uh, again, subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out our Discord. There's links down below. You can click in there, join the Discord, ask questions, uh, follow us on Instagram um, and our YouTube channel. So we thank you guys for coming by, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Take care.